Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Young here and welcome to a Metal Gear Solid Young play. In the previous episode, we activated two of the three PAL keys. We've got the third one here. So let's go ahead and insert that and see what happens. Let's get out of here first. Ignore these guards. Oh my god, there's another one right there, shit. Okay, he's not close enough. Uh, they're annoying. Nope, don't turn- shit, nope, mother- nope, this is not good. Okay, this is... There we go. Whew, alright. Uh, was, uh, disaster avoided. Okay, so, let's get out of here. We gotta hurry up, because, uh... Otherwise, the card might cool down to room temperature. That's not good. Jam these motherfuckers. Okay. And here we are, I believe. Zoom. Yeah, we're pretty close to the end, from what I recall. And yes, for those wondering, I will be playing Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Love that game. It's been a while since I've played it, so it could be rougher than, uh, than you'd like, but I'll do my best. What's great about these Yong plays is that, you know, you guys comment, I read them, and I follow your tips and tricks, and it's awesome. And it's just fun. But yeah. Metal Gear Solid 2. Greatest mindfuck ever. And I played that when I was like a little kid. So. <laughs> Whew. Good lord. That was a very interesting experience. To say the least. I had no idea what the hell was going on. It was awesome. Okay, so guard's still here, I'm assuming. We should be careful. Where is he? There was a guard here, is he gone? Nope, bullets, SOCOM, yes. I could use some more SOCOM bullets. Bombs too, I suppose. Oh, there he is. Alright, let's, uh... Oh shit! Seriously? How the hell? Oh, oh what the? I'm a face. Where'd he go? Oh shit. There we go. Okay. Disaster avoided. Whatever. That was such crap. Eh, whatever. A minor setback. Shit, this card's still... Yes. We need to hurry up. Okay. Shaft grenade. Sweet. Here we go. Metal Gear. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA Chief's code. 
Even with Manta's psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? Plot twist. <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. You still don't know, Snake? Come on. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender that prick the voice. Fox vaccine. Super sassy. Me, Who else could it be? Ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Not Snake, creepy at all. That's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. No shit, Sherlock. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Ah, hell nah. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Uh, what does that mean? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's call somebody. I totally forgot what to do here. Campbell. Snake, gas! Do something! Wow. Snake, call Emmerich. He should be able to break through security. <laughs> Snake, gas, do something. That was the tip that he could offer. Man, a bunch of dumbasses in my codec. Anyways, Otacon. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Yeah, liquid made that open pretty clear. Security lock here. I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Okay, I should use my gas mask. Aha! Now I just run around and la di da di da. Right? I don't do anything. Oh, actually, there's a ration here. We could use that. Thank you. into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Oh, well, that was really easy. I just had to use the Kodak. Well, cool story. I'm out of here. Oh, fuck! Some half-naked twat. Came out of nowhere. Oh, there you are, dear brother. You should really wear a shirt when in Alaska. Liquid snake. It's cold as fuck. Did you like my sunglasses? Wow, asshole. Shoot him! Point a weapon at your own brother. Uh, Why did you disguise yeah. yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily, and you performed quite well, I must say. Jesus. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's Fox right. die. 
You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be, but that woman is the only one who really knows. Oh, great. History lesson. Anyway, it might oh, prove never mind. to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. Brothers. Twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Actually. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. An asshole who curses his fate. Huh? That's Poor right. Guy. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! You should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands. You stole my chance for revenge. Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not Ooh. like you. Unlike you. A bitch. I'm proud of the destiny that just is like her. into my very genes. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Oh boy. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. And I'll show you how to destroy it single-handedly. You watch and learn, <laughs> asshole. It's been a while since I've done this, though. <laughs> May need a little. I do need to use the stinger missiles. I do recall that. How do I stop it? Stinger missiles, damn it! I believe I had to shoot the radon first. So let's go ahead and do that. Metal Gear. Hey, look, micro pills. Pisses bullets. Or laser or something, I don't know. I think it's bullets. Okay, how do we do this? Uh, steer missiles. Ah, uh, radio. Right? No? Okay, never mind. Huh. Okay, let's call somebody up first. Maybe they'll tell me. Otacon, you designed this thing. You tell me what to do. Snake. Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. 
The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. English, please. English. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors, do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? The radar. Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radar. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah, try to hit that ray dome with a stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the ray dome. That will force it to open up the pilot's seat. Right! If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. <sighs> okay, you know what? I want to call these other people, see what they have to say about Metal Gear. Destroy Metal Gear! We're out of time! If you can't do it, I'll have to resort to my last option. Last option? We have a submarine prepared to deliver a full nuclear strike on the base. Well, damn, son. What the hell? Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. Hey, let's call Master. Maybe his ghost will... No. Uh, May Link. Maybe you can save the game. Why not? Hello, Snake. Snake, there's nothing I can do to help you. All I can do is cheer you on. It's okay. You and your sexy, cute accent. That's all I need. Okay, let's save it here. Sweet. Don't give up. Okay, let's call Meryl. No way, she's not available. Nastasha, deep throat. No. Nastasha. Give me some love. Radom stands for Radar Dome. It is a cover, protecting a super-sensitive electronic scanning array. Almost all modern combat aircraft have them. It is not just a radar system in there. That radome probably contains infrared sensors, motion detectors, and other equipment too. It is like a combination of eyes, ears, and nose all rolled into one. If you could destroy that, you might have a chance. That's a pretty stupid idea. You you would think they would separate these components so that, you know, if you destroy one, you still have some of the other ones, but no. You know, they... Okay, well... It's uh, an advantage for me, so... Well, my earphones are kind of falling off. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's kill this motherfucker. <laughs>